Get off the boat. Time to get off the boat. Welcome to the rock. Drive 211 kilometers. I don't like being parked right at the front because no one can get off until I get off. And if people don't let me in the elevators right away or down the stairs or whatever to get to my truck right away, then they gotta wait. We're here, we made it. The weather's not the greatest, it's a little chilly, but we're here. This is Port Obasque, Newfoundland. They call it the rock because it's literally a rock. As you can tell on the left here, the terrain here is pretty much just rock. Here you'll notice are built like right into the rock. It's fascinating. It's so different than Manitoba. It's different than anywhere else, really. What is rattling over here? No rattling in my truck. How'd you enjoy the ferry there, young man? How'd you enjoy the boat ride? You survived. You didn't even get sick. You didn't even make a mess. Hey, Sergeant, up here. Hey, hey buddy, you didn't even make a mess. I am really proud of you, buddy. Good job. Good job. Good job. Diesel, you, as always, were the king. You were the king of that ship. I was the captain, man. That's right. Good boy, you're always a good boy on the boat. Thank you for babysitting your little brother. Yeah, don't ask me to do that all the time, man. This guy's annoying, man. This guy's just saying he's annoying. Clean your eyes out, man. Here, come here. Let me clean your eyes out. No, you're fine. Just the way they are, man. Clean your eyes out. You gotta embarrass me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Alright, it's embarrassing. It's just embarrassing. Alright, Sergeant, you want your eyes cleaned out too or what? Alright, guys. All right, good boys. One advantage of being first off the boat, you're the first one to Tim Hortons. Yes. And then you got all the traffic that passes you. Now I'm gonna be stuck behind everybody. Hopefully there's no like really heavy, slow drivers in front of me. Really heavy is, and I mean their truck, not their actual weight. That would be mean saying that. But if they're driving, a, uh, have a heavy load, they're going to be super slow up the hills and stuff. That's going to be annoying. But, oh well. That's why God invented passing lanes. So we're going to head on down to Corner Brook, Newfoundland. That's our first drop. We got uh, a couple of pieces to drop off there. And then we head over to Clarenville, Newfoundland. And then we're heading right back here to the ferry, trying to get back to the mainland. And got to go, 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 go. Got to go and got to go. Got to go some more. And we got to go. So we got to go right now. Let's go. Here's the sign, Newfoundland, Labrador. Welcome. Technically we're in Newfoundland, Labrador's on the mainland, but all right. That sign says, watch for moose. Another big yellow sign over here, be moose alert. I think they have some moose on the island. Newfoundland has one of 
one of the highest concentrations of moose population. That's why everybody out here has big moose bars like mine at the front of the truck. Not that they would stop a full grown moose, but they might lessen the damage. So we're just at the first open scale here, which is the first scale. As soon as we get on the island, of course the scale's open. Now on these scales you have to wait back here because it's only one scale for both directions. So he just got the green light and there's nobody waiting there, I don't believe. But it's sort of first come, first serve. Whoever gets here first, you get to go over the scale, regardless of which direction you're headed. Newfoundland. It's the Newfoundland. It's not the old found, it's the Newfoundland. You'd think they changed the name to it by now to Old Foundland because it's not new anymore. Or they could change the name to Slow Driverland. That would that would work too. Whatever. I'm not very far onto the island yet. I'm uh, 50, like 5 0, 50 minutes from Corner Brook. I've discovered that Rogers has extended their service in Newfoundland. They obviously have an agreement with Bell, who owns all the towers in Newfoundland, that we can use their towers now. So I have cell service in Newfoundland. Woo! Mind blown. Which is awesome because it was ridiculous before. Because like me, driving a used older truck, you know, it might break down at any time. That's what happens, it's an older truck. I trust it, but you know, you never know, it happens. What if I break down in Newfoundland and I don't have any cell service and it's the middle of the night and there's no traffic? Like, I, and what if it's minus 20, minus 30, and it's like 50 miles to the next town? What am I supposed to do? I have no cell service, it's a safety thing. So I believe the federal government has forced everyone to allow them to use their towers for safety reasons. I know Saskatchewan is supposed to be doing the same thing too, SaskTel. They're supposed to be allowing Rogers onto their network because it's a safety thing. I always love coming past Corner Brook, Newfoundland here. These are the sights you get to see. I know it sort of ruined it, or sort of ruined because of the rain and the wipers, but whatever, you can still see it. To me, this is the most scenic part of Newfoundland on the Trans-Canada. I know there's a lot of other scenic places that are off the main road, but I've never seen them yet. This is just incredible going through here. Imagine how awesome it would be to live around here. People around here, I bet you, have no idea how awesome this place is. Or maybe they know, but they don't, they can't grasp it without living on the prairies for, you know, 27 years. You live in the Midwest on the flat prairies, like I do, you come here and this is just jaw-dropping, you know? Wow! So Newfoundland and Labrador are technically two separate locations. They're two separate provinces, but they have one government. So according to paperwork and technical stuff, they are one province. Uh, there's still two places. Newfoundland is here on the island. Labrador is on the mainland on the east side of Quebec, northeast side of Quebec. It's a complete different area. It's a, like there's a big channel of ocean that separates them. I don't know why they're under one government. I'm guessing because the population of Labrador is like 15,000. There's not much. I've never been to Labrador actually. I keep saying I've been to every province except Prince Edward Island, but that would be wrong because I've never been to Labrador. But since we're talking technically, since I've been to Newfoundland, I've been to Labrador. Huh? See what I'm saying there? See what I'm getting at? But I've never actually been there. I would like to go to Labrador one day, but I highly doubt I'll ever get a load going there. Because I don't think they got roads going in there. I think it's only ice roads in the winter and fly in during the summer. I might be wrong, but that and then I gotta go visit the territories yet. Yukon, Northwest Territories, Nunavut. I haven't been there yet either. They're uh, the territories above the western provinces. More scenic stuff, yes. More. So nice. Scenic, scenic, scenery, scenery, scenic, scenery. The old found land. I mean the new found land. It's still new. Brand spanking new. New found land. So I just called the customer where we're going. We're five hours away from there. Looks like we'll be
will be arriving there a half hour before they close. Cha-ching! So they know I'm coming. And it's pretty much going to be go, go, go until we get there. Good thing I got fuel. Good thing I got fuel. We're not really going to stop that much. Probably just once for a bathroom break for the boys. That'll be like a five minute stop. Not even noteworthy, but hey, we'll make a note of it anyway. Stopped. Gear to pee. Check. You want to show everybody what you can do, buddy? You want to show everybody what you can do? Okay. All right, get in there. Get in there, bud. Oh, oh, good try. Try again. Come on. Try again. They are running start. Get in there. In, 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 in. Oh, good boy. Everybody say good boy. Good boy, Sergeant. You did it all by yourself, man. So we're in Clarenville, Newfoundland. We made it here. Made it on time, delivered our freight. Absolutely, we made it. So now we're waiting around here till tomorrow. Uh, it's because I have to wait around here to see if there is freight to leave the island from here. Uh, that's what we're waiting for. But most likely I'll probably be going back to the mainland empty, but they just asked if I could just uh, hang around the area here till tomorrow morning. And that's fine with me. I've already pretty much driven a full day, so I can't really go much further anyway, so. You are the boss, man. You are the boss. You can get in here all by yourself now. Such a big boy. Such a big boy. They grow up so fast. Such a good boy. Yeah, he went on a good run. We stopped here uh, in this little thing we did went for a walk down the trail there a little bit and now we're all tuckered out and time to go find us a place to sleep right boys and diesel show the good people how you can see out they're still worried about you man I can see out just fine man look I can see there I can see over there I can see over there I can see out all over the place man what are they worried about man tell them to stop worrying tell them to stop worrying stop worrying so we're just going down the road to uh Gooby. It's the name of the town. Gooby. G O O B I E. Gooby. There's that Irving big stop there. And we're going to spend the night there. And then tomorrow morning while they figure out uh, what they're going to do with this freight. It says Irving Big Stop. So it's not that big of a stop if you ask me. Really not that big at all, but what can you do? It's Newfoundland, I guess it's big hair. So we're gonna stay here the night and wait for further orders tomorrow morning. This is what we're looking at here. It's very nice. Very, very, very nice. Lots of nature surrounding us. I'm right here on the edge here, so, uh, you know. And walk the boys real easily. We can go, oh, there's even a trail there. We can go explore the bush tomorrow morning. Maybe find ourselves our own moose. You guys want a pet moose? So the question for today is, how many of you have been to Newfoundland? How many of you have been on the ferry? And if you're Marine Atlantic, are you watching? <laughs> I am so tired. It's been such a long day. And uh, I guess maybe I just need to catch up on some sleep. I have been getting some really good sleep. But you know, every now and then you just need one really good sleep. You know, Maybe I didn't sleep so well in the ocean last night. I thought I slept really good, but you know, I woke up a few times because the ship was like doing that ship thing. At first I was like, whoa, what is going on? Whoa, what was in that water I drank last night, you know? But it's just the ship. 
So uh, tomorrow we will be uh, dealing with everything we need to deal with here on this side of the island. And then once everything is good to go, we headed back to the ferry. It's about seven hours from here. Oh, it'll be almost, um, almost a full day drive. And then we'll probably get on the ferry tomorrow night. We'll see. But for today, guys, I'm going to have to cut the vlog short. I'm sorry. i got to edit this up and get some rest. I still want to watch a movie. And you can't sacrifice the movie time because there's going to be popcorn. So don't forget to write me down in the description. Have you been to Newfoundland? Have you been on the ferry? How many times? I'm curious. And what do you guys think of all the logos that are showing up in front of all my videos here? They've been designed by you, the viewers. If you want to see your logo in front of one of my videos, you can email it to me. You can find it on my website, truckerjosh.com. If you haven't gone to go check out the website yet, I encourage you, go check it out, truckerjosh.com. I believe the link is in the description down below. If it's not, it's pretty simple to find, just truckerjosh.com. Pretty simple. You can just Google me, too. I'm all over Google. I'm all over everywhere, man. I got this thing down. Trucker Josh. So, yeah, if you want to make a logo, uh, it has to be. Remember the resolution, guys? Some of you are uh, sending in the wrong resolutions, which is fine. I'm still using them. It's no big deal. But if you can, make them to the resolution 1280 by 720. So the full, uh, so it fills up the entire screen. Uh, if you don't know what that is, or if you can't, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm just saying, if you can, that's the resolution that I would like. So it fills up the whole screen and whatnot. And anyways. Uh, I also use some of your logos uh, on my pickup truck. I use one of your logos on my pickup truck on the back window. You'll see it soon. I didn't actually use the logo. I used the idea from it with the guy with the beard and the shades with the... You'll, you'll see it on my Facebook page, right? If you don't haven't followed me on Facebook yet, down below in the description. Links to my Facebook, my Twitter and whatnot. You'll see the logos there that I chose to represent my official pages. And uh, other than that... Yeah, I've been thinking of uh, making shirts as well, uh, updating my store, my clothing line, using all your logos. So if you do design me a logo, it might just show up on a shirt, a Trucker Josh shirt. Don't, don't kid yourself. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? I don't know, I think it'd be pretty cool. I'm thinking of like YouTubers that I like to watch. Like if I ever sent them in a design and they use it on their shirts, I don't know make me feel all right but if you don't want that done make sure you let me know other than that i will talk to you tomorrow anytime after 4 a.m central time and thank you guys thank you for all your support every single day this isn't easy making a video every single day and i'm not whining or complaining because i enjoy doing it and i love doing it for you guys and i'm going to continue doing it for as long as i can which would probably be into my 90s like i said i'll probably be vlogging myself trying to cross the street and that'll be a vlog in itself believe me Old Trucker Josh, all right, we're, we're gonna cross the street now. Is there any cars coming? I can't see. I can't see. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Oh, there's cars coming. Oh, there's cars coming. It's gonna be fun. Can't wait to see you there in 90 years. Anyways, I hope until then you watch every single day to see the progress of myself. You can watch myself age into an old man. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.